everyone, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me, Laura. And in today's video, more festive crochet treats for you as we're going to be making some snowflake chains. So let's begin. Okay, so when I made these snowflakes, I actually used a nice white sparkly yarn, a very snowflake colors. Um, I'm not gonna use that on camera though, because white never shows up well on camera. So I'm gonna swap it for a green yarn. If you're curious what yarn this sparkly yarn is, this one here, it's uh, not sponsored, it's Red Heart Lisa Lurex and it's just the color white. So yeah, definitely use a sparkly yarn if you have one to hand, but I'm gonna be using a green yarn for this tutorial. It's the same yarn weight, so I'm using a sport, uh, no, I'm not using a sport, I'm using a DK, a light worsted weight yarn. So it's a yarn weight of three, and uh, with that, I'm using a three millimeter crochet hook. And you're also gonna need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle as well for tying in any ends. But you can use any yarn that you like and any hook that's suitable for the yarn you're using. So let's begin. So we're gonna go straight into making a snowflake. So if you're not interested in making snowflake change, you can still make a snowflake. And uh, you can work a magic circle or chain four loop, whatever you prefer. I'll do a chain four loop, I think, for this tutorial, a little bit easier for beginners. So we're gonna chain four, and we're gonna put our hook into our first chain, bring the yarn through the first chain and straight through the loop on our hook. We've got a little loop of chains joined at the beginning and the end, and into the center of there, we're going to work six single crochet. So this pattern's in US terminology, so in UK terms, that's a double crochet. We're gonna do a little chain one first. Don't count that as a stitch, it's just for leverage. And then carrying the tail end as you go and working into the center, not the first chain loop, which can look bigger. We are going to work a single crochet, so just wrapping it around the chains. And we want six of those, so I'm just gonna carry this tail end. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And let's see if I can just pull my tail in now to bring in that hole. You can actually only do that on the first snowflake, so the other ones you can't do that. What we're gonna do then is we're going to just slip stitch into our first single crochet, slip stitch into there to join the round. Then what we're going to do is we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. And we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch. So nice and easy, slip stitch into there. And we're gonna do that all the way around. So we're gonna chain four again. One, two, three, and four, and then slip stitch in the next stitch. So repeat that all the way around until you have six of these little pico loops. So one, two, three, and four. Slip stitch in the next stitch. Okay, chain four. Okay, and always check that you've got six. So one, two, three, four, five. You need to do one more, otherwise you end up with a quasi crystal or something. <laughs> Three and four. And then what we want to do, this is our fake stitch as I call it, so it's our previous slip stitch. You want to find the first single crochet from this round where we started off and we want to slip stitch into there. So slip stitch into that first stitch again after your last one. And double check you've got six of these loops chain four loops. And then we're going to slip stitch into that first chain four loop. So just slip stitch into there. Now we're gonna create the points of our snowflake. So we're gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to slip stitch in the fourth chain from our hook. So we don't count the loop on our hook. We count one, two, three, four. So in number four chain, we're going to slip stitch. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, 
three and we're going to slip stitch in the same fourth chain again. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to slip stitch in that same fourth chain, which looks quite big after a while. And then what we want to do is we have the two chains left on this first initial chain six. We want to slip stitch into the next chain and then slip stitch in the last chain. So we're back at the main sort of flower circle thing. Then what we want to do is find the next stitch on this first round. So here where these chains are coming out of. So we're going to go back into that same stitch underneath and then we're going to slip stitch into the chain four loop above and we repeat the same step. So we chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We slip stitch in the fourth chain down. So one, two, three, four, slip stitch into there, then chain three, one, two, three, slip stitch in the same fourth chain, chain three, one, two, three, slip stitch in the same fourth chain. Then we want to find those two chains that we haven't worked into underneath, slip stitch into there, next one, and the next one. And then we start the same thing again. So this time you want to find the next single crochet from round one and go into there see where the chains are coming out, where this slip stitch is. Go back into there, slip stitch into the same stitch as that slip stitch. And then we slip stitch into the chain four loop above. And we repeat the same steps again. So we chain six. So do that all the way around until you complete your snowflake. And then I'll show you how to work the next one. Okay, when you get back to the beginning, just check you've got six points. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find our first slip stitch that we made here, sort of on the front a little bit. And we're going to slip stitch into there. So there we go, we have our snowflake, simple snowflake. And now let's turn it into some chains. Now you can decide to do more chains if you want to, but if you want your snowflakes quite close together like this, then I recommend chaining 14. So we're going to chain 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and one more, fourteen. Okay, because you want to allow enough space for our snowflake to be made. And we're going to slip stitch in the fifth chain down. So don't count the loop on your hook. We count one, two, three, four, five. So in number five, we're going to slip stitch into there. And we've sort of created another little chain for loop thing. We're gonna do a little chain one for leverage. Don't count that as a stitch. And into this little chain of loops, uh, loop of chains even, <laughs> we're going to do six single crochet again. So we're going to put our hook into the center, so not this fifth chain. And again, just wrapping it around the chains, we work a single crochet. Now we've got these chains in the way, so before we hit those chains, we're going to do about two of the six single crochets. So one, two, and then we're going to bypass those chains, turn your work clockwise a little bit, Move those chains over here out the way and continue making the rest of the chains. So three, four, five, and one more, six. And then we slip stitch into our first single crochet. And we've got another little circle to work with. And like I said, you can't really make that hole smaller, but it doesn't look too bad once you get going. So then we do the same thing again. We chain four, one, two, three, 
four and slip stitch in the next stitch. Do that all the way around. Again, chain four, one, two, three, and four, and then slip stitch in the next stitch. And do that until you've got six of these little four chain picots. So one, two, three, and make it sure to do the last picot, three, four. We then, there is our fake stitch, our previous slip stitch. You wanna see the single crochet on the first round that that's coming from. So just look where these first chains are coming from and going to slip stitch into there. Okay, so we've got six of these little, little picots which look very pretty. And it's the same thing as the first snowflake then, we're just going to slip stitch in the four chain loop and work the point of our snowflakes. So we chain six, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch in the fourth chain, so one, two, three, four, slip stitch in there. Chain three, slip stitch in the same fourth chain. Chain three again, one, two, three, so we do it twice. Slip stitch in the same fourth chain. And then find the last two chains of those six and slip stitch into there back to your main snowflake. So slip stitch in there, slip stitch in there. Then we want to slip stitch in the next single crochet from the first round. So find where this slip stitch is. You've got like this little bar here and these little uh, loops underneath and that's where your single crochet is. So we slip stitch into there and then we slip stitch in our full chain loop. And repeat those steps again until you've got six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so once you've got your six point, we then again want to find that first slip stitch. It's all the way over here and slip stitch in to there. So it's sort of just in front of some fabric slip stitch into there and then you'd begin the whole process again. So there we go, we have two snowflakes. So then again, we would just chain 14, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And you can do more chains, like I said. And we find our fifth chain and slip stitch into there and then we do a little chain one and we work the six single crochet into the center so we do the first two before we move these chains out the way and then we turn our work clockwise a little bit move those chains behind you and work the rest the other four so three four five and six. And there we go, we're straight into making our next snowflake. So you then would just repeat that over and over again, depending on how many snowflakes you want. And I highly recommend using a much prettier yarn than the green yarn, nice sparkly yarn in white, and you can make as many snowflakes as you like. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you managed to follow along and this is perfect to hang on the Christmas tree or even to use as gift wrap as well. So a huge thank you to my Happy Bray Plus members over on my website and my Patreon members for helping make these tutorials possible. So a huge thank you to you guys. And also, as I mentioned earlier, there is the AMI event currently happening on Happy Bray Plus where every day until Christmas, I'm releasing a curious crochet character uh, for you to enjoy with a little humorous story to go with it. So do check that out if you'd like to upgrade your membership. But I will see you soon for some more crochet crafting fun. Thanks for watching, bye.